hope you're all doing good in this video let's see various tooth numbering systems so worldwide we have different tooth numbering systems and however only few are commonly used right so let's discuss various numbering systems given in dental literature so in 1947, American Dental Association started advocating the use of symbolic or Zygmunt Palmer system, right? So, however, the challenge with this system is that if you want to represent a particular tooth or if you want to denote a particular tooth, for example, a permanent upper right maxillary first molar, it is represented in this fashion. So it's easy to write. However, if you want to enter the same in a system or computer it's a bit challenging right so for this limitation in 1967 EADS started advocating the use of universal system rather than Zygmunt Palmer system right so now let's see various numbering systems ranging from universal Zygmunt Palmer two digit system and also another system which was advocated by Victor Hadrup in the following video so the first system which we'll be discussing now is universal tooth numbering system. So the main advantage of universal tooth numbering system is that each tooth whether it's a primary dentition or a permanent dentition each tooth has a unique number. Now let's see how primary dentition are represented in universal numbering system. So assume this as a mid sagittal plane and then we have four quadrants right upper right or first quadrant upper left lower left and lower right quadrants right so for representing deciduous teeth we use alphabets in uppercase that's very important so this is a mid sagittal plane And then to represent primary dentition, we need to use alphabets in uppercase. So each quadrant has a five teeth. So we'll start with the first quadrant, the distal most tooth, and then continue in a clockwise direction. Right? So we have 10 teeth here and then continue in a clockwise direction. Right, so this is how deciduous teeth, the primary dentition, are represented in universal numbering system. And now coming to secondary or permanent dentition, since we have 32 permanent teeth, we can't use alphabets to represent teeth, right? Since we have only 26 alphabets, so the advocated uses of numbers, right? So we'll start. So the uh, arrangement will be more or less the same. We go in or we proceed in a clockwise direction starting with number one to the upper right third molar and each quadrant has eight teeth, right? And then we have nine, 10 till 16, then 17, 24 and then 25 till 32 so if you observe this universal system in case of your primary dentition or in case of your secondary dentition each tooth has a unique alphabet or unique representation so if I say in primary dentition F it means upper right central incisor and in permanent dentition if I say 24 it means lower left central incisor so each tooth has a unique number that's very important so this is about universal system and this was advocated by ADA way back in 1967 itself so coming to symbolic system or Zygmunt Palmer system so this symbolic system or Zygmunt Palmer system is also represented in this quadrant fashion where we have four quadrants and while representing a primary dentition no matter whether it's universal or Zygmunt Palmer we use uppercase alphabets right so we start with 
the upper right central incisor here and then we continue till second molar and then this is first quadrant and second quadrant is in this fashion right and then we have third quadrant and then fourth quadrant so we'll start representing each tooth from the midline and proceed away towards the distal side in each quadrant that's the rule here so this is how primary dentition is represented so in order to represent an upper right central incisor we should denote it as a with this symbol reverse of L and if I wish to represent a lower left deciduous molar a second deciduous molar here it is and you can see the direction of this so it can be represented as the following E so that's the reason why it's called as symbolic system right and in case of permanent dentition so the rules will be the same however we use numbers instead of alphabets so starting with we'll start from the midline and then proceed for all the quadrants so this is third quadrant and then fourth quadrant so this is how permanent dentition is represented in symbolic system so if I want to represent or denote a flow upper right first molar permanent molar then it is represented as 6 with a reverse L and if I want to represent a lower left third molar then it is represented in this fashion right so this is Zygmondi Palmer system also called as symbolic system introduced by Zygmondi and Palmer way back in 1861 and now let's uh, see the other numbering system that is two digit system also called as FDA system it was introduced by FDI Federation Dentaire International and was accepted by WHO right World Health Organization so according to this two digit system as the name itself indicates we have two digits here where the first digit represents the quadrant and the second digit represents the particular tooth right so let's see for primary as well as for permanent dentition how exactly we use this two digit system so in case of primary dentition we use the following numbers to represent the quadrants right so 5 represents the first quadrant 6 represents the second quadrant 7 third and eighth fourth quadrant and then we have another number to represent a particular tooth right so 5 1 1 indicates first tooth that is central incisor and then we have 5 2 5 3 5 4 and 5 5 so 5 indicates the quadrant and the second digit whether it can be 1 2 or 3 represents a particular tooth and then we have 6 1 6 2 6 3 till 6 5 and then we have 7 1 7 2 7 3 till 7 5 and then we have here 8 1 8 2 8 3 and so on till 8 5 so this is how primary dentition is represented in two digit system and if you observe permanent dentition the rules will be the same however instead of 5 6 7 8 we use the following quadrant numbers 1 2 3 4 so 1 represents first quadrant 2 the second 3 the third quadrant and 4 the fourth quadrant and then the second digit represents the tooth number the particular tooth in the arch 1 2 1 3 1 4 so on till 1 8 and then we have 2 1 2 2 till 2 8 and then 3 1 3 2 3 3 till 3 8 and then we have 4 1 4 2 4 3 till 4 8 and please keep this in mind this should be pronounced as 7 1 but not 71 and this should be pronounced as 3 2 but not 32 
so you shouldn't club while pronouncing should be pronounced separately so it's two one five two six three two eight and now let's see the fourth system which was devised by Victor Haderup so this system was introduced way back in 1891 in Denmark and it's in use even today so according to this numbering system tooth numbering system they use a plus or a minus symbol to represent either a maxillary arch or mandibular arch and also a right-sided tooth from a left-sided tooth so for example if I say plus one this represents upper left central incisor since this symbol is present to the left of the letter we should consider it as a left sided tooth and since we are using plus plus is for maxilla whereas minus is for mandible and if I say minus one it represents lower left central incisor since I have used minus it indicates lower arch so plus indicates upper arch or maxillary minus indicates lower arch or mandible and if this symbol is present to the left of the number then it should be considered as a left sided tooth if it is present on the right side of the number then it should be considered as a right sided tooth so now let's see how Victor Hadrup uh, numbering system is used for representing primary as well as permanent dentition so in case of primary it's the first quadrant right maxilla since it is maxilla we use the symbol plus since it is the right side right so first and fourth quadrant are present on the right side so it's represented as 0 1 plus that is the central incisor maxillary right central incisor and then 0 2 plus so on till 0 5 plus so that's how first quadrant is represented in case of a second quadrant since it is present on the left side and it's a maxilla we represent it as plus 0 1 plus 0 2 so on till plus 0 5 and for a third quadrant since it is mandible we use a symbol minus and since it is present on the left side we use the following symbols minus 0 1 minus 0 2 so on till minus 0 5 and coming to fourth quadrant since it is mandible we use the symbol minus and since it is a right sided arch or quadrant we place this symbol to the right of the number 0 1 0 2 minus 0 3 minus so on till 0 5 minus so if you observe the entire system we are using plus for maxilla and minus for mandible if it is right sided we place the symbol to the right of the number and if it is left sided we place the symbol to the left of the number right so this is for your primary dentition in case of your permanent dentition or secondary we use this for same system however omit zero so that's the examples which i gave previously right so zeros are omitted while representing secondary or permanent dentition so these are various numbering systems in brief so mastering numbering systems is very important for any dental graduate for ease of communication it's nothing but a shorthand form or a shortcut form of representing your primary or permanent dentition so once we are thorough in this numbering system it gives us confidence and also helps us to communicate with our fellow dentist in an efficient manner right so this is about numbering systems